Big Z Reviews. Sweet Girl is a new Netflix film that came out recently. And it's, it's pretty goofy. My wife was supposed to start a new medication. The company that makes the drug pulled it off the market. Paying competitors to shell generic brands of drugs? That is immoral. Our next caller is from Pittsburgh. If my wife dies, it's your death sentence. They can help you get justice for what happened to your wife. Who's that? So this mainly stars Jason Momoa as a dad of uh, Isabella Merced. And like he, his uh, wife uh, died of cancer after this pharmaceutical, co this pharmaceutical company uh, took the cheaper name brand version off, like off the shelf, and they couldn't pay for the tr cancer treatment. And then now he wants to go in revenge and kill everyone involved. And I think like some of the stuff, I think the, the biggest letdown of this film is that there is no like. Uh, chemistry between Jason Momoa and Isabella Merced. Like, it's supposed to be like a, a father and daughter, but it never felt like a father and daughter. Never, They never felt like they connected. And it was weird because, like, he was on revenge and she, all she was doing is kind of this, like, telling her, oh, don't do that. And it's just annoying. The action of the film is okay. It's not bad. But I think the weirdest part of the film is the reveal after a certain point. Like, the cold opening is Jason Momoa, like, jumping off a building into the water. And then you see that later, like, they do, like, um, the spoiler for the film, but they, they do the whole Sixth Sense sort of thing, where where he's, like, stabbed in the beginning, and then they they go back, and, like, he, they look like he's fine. And then he's actually dead. And Isabella Merced is insane. And seeing her dad do all these things when it's actually her... And like she had a split personality, I guess. And it's like really p badly done. And the weirdest thing is that Jason Momoa, he's like, what, 275, 6 foot 4, or something like that. This girl is like 4 foot 6, 90 pounds. Like she's tiny. She is a tiny girl. And like they, the action scenes with Jason Momoa, when you think it back on it, like, he doesn't beat the shit out of everyone. Like, he's not a monster. But he puts up a good fight. And it's like, you try to remember... Like, you try to put in this little girl uh, doing the fights. And it's like, how would that work? But at one point, like, Momoa does a thing like he... One guy, like, he wraps something around his neck. And, like, j jumps over the railing and breaks his neck. And it's like, would she have enough weight to break his neck like that? I don't know. And it's just, it's so stupid. Like, but like, I, I, I wish they would either have done, like, from the beginning or, like, have him, have him, have him not be dead, dead and have him be a team. And maybe have him get killed later or get in hospitalized and she has to take over for him or something like that. But they're doing this weird twist, this sixth sense twist is just stupid. It's like, I see dead people and I kill people because, like, as that dead person. Like, it's just, and it's, it's sort of point, it's just like, like, okay, this is a bad guy we need to kill. Oh, not, and he, the, there's a guy actually above him. Oh, actually, there's a person above them, too. And they get into the politics, and it's like, this one politician was taking bribes, and it's like, they're all taking bribes. They're, and, and this, it's legal. The whole idea that they, they, they had this assassin to, to kill the people that want to uh, reveal the bribes and shit, and it's like, you don't have to. It's it's legal. You can look it up. Like, all these politicians get hundreds of thousands of dollars from the pharmaceutical companies. And then it's legal. You know, it's evil, but it's legal. And it's like, they, I guess she would got even more money, so she had to go the, the illegal route. And it's just it's just badly written. And and the actual acting is, is okay. The, the acting's not great. The action's okay. The acting is pretty mediocre. And at the, at the end, this just kind of becomes a mediocre Netflix action film. Like, something you could throw on. It's not offensive, you know? But I'd probably give, like, a 5 out of 10. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can, you can uh, subscribe down below. Thanks.